everyone, welcome to Fight for the Hardest. And you could say this is a birthday special, but we're going to talk about some stuff. We're going to start off lightly, and then we'll go into a ter territory where I've already filmed something. I deleted it because it was basically too long, and I'm not willing to waste my time on that stuff that I don't really want to. But now I just thought, wait a minute, I might as well just put it into this. But please note, there's no nice way to say it when we get up to it. Is let's do this. First, I just want to let you know tomorrow is my birthday. I am turning 18. If you want to say happy birthday to me on that day, that'd be fine. I appreciate all of that. Um, I will, of course, see them every single one of them. So yeah, I've got to say, turning 18, there's no excitement for me actually at all. More like more nerves than anything else. I feel like I'm more nervous than when I was turning 16 to now, but I don't know. Life has its ways. Question. Do you turn 18 on midnight at 00, zero or when you're born? I was born on August 25th at 4 o'clock. So technically do I turn 18? I don't turn 18 until then? Just a question, because I don't know. KSI v Logan Paul official waging happened today. It was a free live stream for, for everyone to watch. Now, first if you ever thought, hey, this was the fight, no, the fight is on August 25th. I feel like they've said that quite enough by now. But they had all the waging, they took all their clothes off, we saw all of it. I think the highest one may be 86 by Logan and, and then also KSI with 84 which now both of those have a chance of actually just having a fight. I will say that can we have no round one knockouts, do that round two or three because we want, you know, it's like, hey Jake, want to waste my money? Go ahead. But, um, yeah, so, who am I rooting for? Well, after seeing Deji's um, body, which is a bit disappointing, I will say, um, but I, for Deji and Jake Paul, I actually don't know, but for KSI and Logan, I'm going to say Logan, because I feel like with all this stuff going on, with each person trying to ruin both of their reputations, I like the Joella one, this one, I feel like Logan, when he was looking back at all those videos, he, it was a stage of that Logan Paul does not know KSI enough to be, and it's like, one of the things that stick with me that has, from what Logan has said, is that KSI is like a fucking idiot he is. Well, he lives with his friends, so if if he lives with his friends then then he must not be that much of an idiot. Like in this situation I see that KSI is the good guy and Logan Paul is the bad guy because comparing to it I don't know what's wronger but to me Logan Paul to me is the bad guy in this situation. You could say hey both of them are scumbags they are you could but the thing is is that when something had to happen if something happened with KSI he would immediately like make a video and say what he needed to say and if he needs to apologize for something he will. Logan Paul hardly ever uh, honestly hardly ever so that's why I can sympathize with KSI more because even though you may see him like immature or whatever, I still see him as an adult. And to say that, hey, does he still play FIFA? Is that the only thing that's no? When he came back, he stopped, he made one video on it, but apart from that, he does not play FIFA anymore. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I am hoping for KSI, but for Deji and Jake, I don't know. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, there's no nice way to say it whatsoever. Uh, right, so I have talked about this many times, I have, and about when VidCon 2017 happened and when the Juggernuggets took a fan of his as a hostage, novel, otherwise known as Yags TV. 
Now, if you don't know, the reason why that all happened is so that uh, you, so that maybe I don't know, Yeg Stevie can get some exposure for himself, and then my drug nuggets could do some bit of like a deal thing. So, and Brandon Dillon also says a story that's similar to that, but really the whole thing to say that he. Yeah, see if he's fine, it's all okay. Like, you don't know that they did release a photo on, like, I think Yeg yeah, see released a photo on Instagram, just all smiling and them being all right. So, really, it was all acting, it's all fake, it's all okay. It's the stuff that I say, like, every now and then, but I people definitely don't listen to it. So, again, Yeg yeah, see is fine, like, honestly, he's fine, like, you. you if it was well, don't you think, I don't know, maybe the FitCon security people would be a bit suspicious, people around them, security cameras, and then also the parents of the XTV? All those things to think about. Anyway, so, yeah, that's fake. He's all, he's okay. And every time that they say it's well, you know that they're bullshitting you. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and yeah. Alright. Peace guys, see ya.